What's good, everybody? It's your boy Big Guns for Hire, bringing you another game of Domination and Stronghold. And uh, this was a nice game for me, man. But before we talk about this game, bro, I want to talk to you guys about something, man. This has been a, a lot of, a lot of freaking hopping off the mouth and crying and whining about um, skill, ma um, skill, matchmaking um, uh, connections and shit. And I do agree with it. No one is really telling you guys why Vanderhaar might consider or why he said that skill matchmaking is in the fucking game. Um, not now, they took it off. Uh, but uh, why did they come out with this concept of skill matchmaking? Um, uh, in advanced warfare and why did uh, Vanderhaar actually consider it to, uh, to implement it in, in Black Ops 3 and it's a simple fact man I mean it, like I said not not many not many people talk to talk to you guys about this nobody really mentioned it but I'm gonna tell you guys why right now the reason behind this whole concept is because this fucking greasy sweaty fucking tryhards that play this fucking game. Those guys that recognize that they're playing against a bunch of noobs, you know, and they take the squad and just pretty much um, demolish other, other squads by playing tryhard mode and, and shit like that. Um, they, 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 those guys, man, those sweat, sweat, sweaty ass guys, that thing that they, that do that they are playing like they're getting paid to play this shit, to win, and and those, those that that's that's why, Advanced Warfare and and, and Vanderhaar consider to implement this shit, and, and why Advanced Warfare has this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because all those fucking tryhards, because what happened what happening in here is that you get these sweaty, fucking grease balls. To play this fucking game and they demolish squads. Look at this guy admiring the view. They they they, they get they get in against these noobs and they play so fucking sweaty that the, the young cats, the young noobs it's con constantly complain and and you know Activision trying to give an opportunity for everyone, you know, and and Sledgehammer at that time decided to you know what let's give the news an opportunity because <clears throat> an opportunity to uh to play against other news so that everybody can enjoy the game. Um it backfired on them because that shit doesn't work. But but there's a reason behind it. Now if <laughs> you if you have played Call of Duty for a while, you you, you can see the evolution of Call of Duty. And, and Call of Duty has has evolved into a game that gives opportunities to everyone at all skill levels. It's, it's trying to cater to to not only to the to the good players but also to the mostly to the noobs. That's why you has it's, it's easier to get uh, you know. That's why you don't got kill streaks. You got score streaks. You feel me? That's why. You know, you could sit back in the map, take down, just spend the whole day taking down shit from the sky, and not kill one freaking soul, and you and you and you get a, a, a score streak. You know what I'm saying? Because you know it, it gives an opportunity for everyone, and 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 you know they're trying to cater this game for everyone to enjoy everything that the game has to offer. So on that on that note, you know. They figure like you know what, these tryhards, and is making it very difficult for the noobs to enjoy the game. We're getting a lot of fucking crying and complaining. So let's 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 make it a, 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 a skill matchmaking so that the kids won't cry anymore. As you can see, I, I, I'm I'm on theater mode. So that we don't have to hear the whining and crying anymore from the noobs. Um, but that doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. It made the game unplayable, Advanced Warfare. 
And then when when the, the, the kids start crying and whining again because they're getting their ass kicked by these tryhards, and and they they Vanderhart decided to to implement to themselves, um, and and again it didn't work. You know you got some big name YouTubers like um, uh, T Martin and shit complain about it, and he ended up switching it back. Now, the reason behind I'm telling you these guys this is simple, man. You guys, if you're going to come in this fucking game, right, and you're going to come in and you're going to try hard and, and, and be like, you know, be an asshole with, with the game, they're going to bring that the skill bitch might make it again, and Vanderhaar ain't going to care less. Remember that Vanderhaar is not coming back. This is his last game. So, if you encounter a, 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 a lobby of, of, of noobs and you're running with five, you know, it's six of you, and you are there, you are really good players, what you do like the Camper Nation do? Yeah, but if you watch a Camper Nation play, when they all get together, they go out there and they relax and they chill. When they know they're playing a bunch of noobs, they relax, they go on relax mode. And they, and they give... The, the other team an opportunity. Like, you don't see them camping every fucking flag and holding down every single flag. No. They sit back and they relax. They get their kills and they let that, you know, it's called giving the opposite team false hope. Deceiving the team. Making them believe that the game was closer than it really was. You know, you know, they, they, you know that they are a bunch of fucking noobs. You know they don't know what they're doing. So why are you being so fucking try hard? Just relax, sit fucking back, you know, get your fucking kills, give the, deceive the team, make them believe that they are making it hard for you to win. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're playing domination, right? Make it hard on them. I mean, make it easy on them. Don't capture the fucking flag, just get your fucking kills. And then on the second half, you can come back, cash up, you know, take, take it easy, deceive them. If you do this, I guarantee you the lobby is going to stay. After the match, you can go on the mic and say, wow, man, you guys almost beat us, man. That was that was close. You know it wasn't. You know that's far as for the truth. But you are giving them false hope. You are making them stay. You are, make, you are, you are making it so they won't come fucking complain. Okay, you're not ripping them completely off from the enjoyment of playing the game. But when you go out there capping every single fucking flag, camping every fucking flag, and strategically camping every flag, and you'll be a fucking tryhard, you know, putting your fucking sweatpants on, guess what? These thieves are gonna fucking complain, and the noobs are gonna complain, and more and more noobs are gonna complain. And now, because you wanna be try hard, now you're gonna have skill based match matchmaking back into the fucking game. And let's see how good you fucking really are. You feel me? So, start doing that. Stop being such a fucking try hard. It's just a fucking game. Get your kills, eat, get your, f your belly full, and, and, and just fucking relax, man. You know? Give that team false hope, make them believe that they have a, a chance in hell to win, and then, you know, you take it away from them and, you know, giving them false hope. I guarantee you, when you do this, they're going to stay, they're going to want to play with you, because they won't, they're actually going to believe that they can beat you. You know what I'm saying? And that right there is going to keep them in the game. You feel me? That's gonna keep them in the game. You know that they they can't beat you. Like I said, watch the camper nation when they play together. You see that they sit back, they relax, they're not trying hard. They relax, they let the other team believe that they have a fucking chance, but they don't have a fucking chance. You know, they don't have a chance in hell to win. But they do this so that they other team will not leave, so that the other team will not complain. They're smart. You got to be smart with it too, man. You feel me? Don't be such a fucking tryhard. You know what I'm saying? If you want to play like that, but then go compete. Make money with it. But if you're going to be playing here casually, 
then be casual with it. You, you feel me? Be just casual with it, be relaxed, and let others also enjoy the game. So that Van der Hart will not bring back the skill based, skill match making bullshit that actually ruins the game. And that's my take on that shit, you know? That's my whole take. Look at that bullshit ass kill. That's that's my whole take on it, you know. Um, the the like I say, the whole reason behind uh, um, the whole reason behind skill matchmaking is because of the fucking sweat boxes. Uh, I mean, sweat sweat pants wearing sweaty ass tryhards that played the game. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have. Skill based my, my skill match based my matchmaking whatever the fuck you want to call it. Anyway, man, this was a nice game for me. I got another one coming, which is even better. I'm not gonna give you the the score on my next game, but this was a nice one for me, man. I, um, I I did pretty pretty good on it. Um, just just I don't play every day. I'm very casual when I play. But, and we ended up losing. I did the best that I could. You know, I had my, I went 27 and 6. I had my, my Talon out. I had two uh, fucking servers. They still, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't win, man. I mean, I mean, how can you? Look at that. You know, 21 deaths. But, hey, what can you do? The other team, they die a lot too. So, you can't really complain about that. But, like I said, your boy went 27 and 6. I'm so happy that we back to normal. I'm back in enjoying this. I'm back in getting my scores the way they should be. I'm back at not yelling at the TV. And it's all good and dandy now, man. Thank you for watching. And uh, to next time, bro. Adios.